Hi everyone and welcome back to my allotment. Spring has well and truly sprung, finally. Um, gone of those cold, snowy days that we had, well, a few weeks ago. And they've been replaced with longer days, warmer weather, and that's brilliant. <laughs> I'm loving it. Uh, I've, been, I've been spending quite a lot of time up the allotment, getting things done, finally sowing some seeds. Everything's starting to actually take shape, which is great. And today what I'm going to be doing <clears throat> is uh, creating an asparagus bed in my plot. So this is where I've decided to have my asparagus. Um, and if, like me, you are thinking of putting in an asparagus bed, there are a couple of things to consider. And the first is that asparagus beds and asparagus can last for up to 20 years. So you want to make sure you're choosing somewhere where you'll be happy to leave the bed for up to 20 years. Um, you don't want to put it somewhere where, you know, in a couple of years you think you might want to reuse the soil or the, the um, spot for something else, because you don't want to move the asparagus bed once it's in. The second thing to consider is you're going to want somewhere in a sunny site but that's also fairly sheltered. Uh, this here is perfect because it gets a lot of sun. Uh, it's not especially sheltered but none of my plot is. Um, however our site as a whole is fenced and hedged in and we don't actually get a lot of strong winds here so we're on a fairly sheltered site as a whole which is great. Um, and the other thing to consider is you're going to want really good rich soil that's free draining you don't want heavy clay soil if you have got heavy clay soil you're going to want to dig in some well rotted manure or compost or sharp sand something to ensure that the soil is uh, nice and crumbly and free draining they're the main points to consider um, so I've chosen this site here I'm choosing to do it in a raised bed that's just my personal preference I'm going to have one row down the centre of a raised bed. Um, you can do it out in the open ground and do like a couple of rows side by side. But for me, this is a spot where I know that I'll be happy if I'm still here in 20 years on this plot, I know I'll be happy for my asparagus to still be in this position. Um, and what I've done to prepare this plot is that you want to make sure that the area you're putting in your asparagus bed is really well weeded because um, it's going to be a pain to weed it afterwards and you don't want to damage the roots of the asparagus. So what I've done, I've dug right down to the base of this raised bed and then I went down even further, probably another sort of spade length. So in total, I've probably gone down about 30 to 40 centimetres in depth with this. And I dug all the way down and I meticulously pulled out every single little rude, rilla, rilla, root and weed, or rude if you want a combination, combination of root and weed together. I pulled out every root and weed that I could see and there was a lot of them because this bed had been taken over with uh, grass and weeds and there was so much to pull out so I spent a lot of time pulling out all the roots and all the weeds. Um, and then what I did is I actually lined right down at the base so about 35, 40 centimetres deep. I lined it all with some uh, offcuts of carpet or some carpet samples, which I actually managed to pick up on Facebook for free. Somebody was giving loads of carpet samples away. So I snapped them up and they proved really useful actually around the plot. So I lined the base with the carpet samples and that is just to try and suppress the weeds. Uh, but that carpet is, I say, about 35 centimeters deep. But I did pull it up the side of the bed as well. You can probably see the carpet just poking it up there. Um, I lined up the side of the bed because I know what happens with these raised beds is that if I just line the bottom, the roots and weeds, the grass especially, the grass is the pain here, that still tends to come in from the side. So I've tried to line right up the side to keep the, uh, keep the weeds completely at bay. Um, then I put all the uh, compost that was already in this bed, I sort of spread that out evenly. And then what I've done as I've started to create the area where I actually want to put the asparagus. So I'm going to just uh, show you that now. 
So for actually planting the asparagus, what I've done is I've got a line here about 30 centimetres in width and what I've done is created a trench um, and that trench is approximately 20 centimetres deep and then what I've done is with the uh, soil that I pulled out when creating the trench I've then mounded it back up here to create a long mound so shallow there and then mounded up here uh, similar to if you're planting potatoes, those of you that plant potatoes know that you know you create the uh, the mounds and then you plant the potatoes in the shallow ridge. Well, it's the opposite with asparagus because you're planting it on top of the mound. And the reason for creating this mound here is to put the asparagus crowns on and to be able to spread the roots nice and uh, evenly all out over the mound. And the asparagus that I've got I ordered online. And I've just got five bare root asparagus crowns. And these need to be planted approximately 40 centimetres apart on top of the ridge. My bed is two meters long or just slightly under two meters long and I've got five um, so to be honest I'm probably going to be just a little bit more short on the spacing but for the sake of a couple of centimeters I'm going to pop all five plants in and uh, the way to do that is to simply okay so spread out the roots find the first position. I'm going to plant my first one here and just place it on top of the mound like so and then spread out all of those roots. Like so. Just for positioning's sake, I'm just going to lay the other four along, so say approximately 40 centimetres apart, but obviously because I haven't put the first one right at the edge, I'm going to lose a bit of space, so I'm going to do mine probably more like 30 centimetres apart and hope that that's okay. I know that this is the centre of my bed because it's got those little posts there, so I'm going to make sure I've got one level with the centre. <coughs> Cross and have one there. And one there. And that's where I'm going to plant all of my asparagus. And one other thing to mention is that before uh, putting these out today on top of these uh, mounds of earth, what I did was I gave it a top dressing of my fertiliser. So asparagus is a hungry plant, it does like very rich soil to grow well. So I have put just a top dressing of fertiliser on there for it as well. So now I've got all five of these plants laid out where I want them to be and what you need to do now is cover up the crowns. It's not like planting strawberries or rhubarb where you have to plant up to the level of the crown. With asparagus you need to cover the crown with approximately seven to ten centimetres of compost or soil 
So it's very unusual for me to be covering the crowns of things because lately I've been planting strawberries and I've been planting rhubarb and things where you've got to be level with the crown. But no, asparagus is different in the way that you do cover the entire crown with compost. And I'm going to go up to about seven centimetres in height, which hopefully should bring me up level to the top of my bed. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> And that's them all covered up. I'm going to be honest and say that I had four bags of compost and I don't actually think it's enough because I can still see the slight very top of the tips of the uh, longer wispier bits poking out there and it's not up to the top level here which is where I wanted it to be but four bags of compost was all I had with me today so what I'm gonna do is zip up the garden centre get a bit more and then bring the level up um, but that's all that needs to be done now to finish off this bed other than that it's all planted it's all done and I'm happy with that uh, the compost that I have used is the John Inns number three I've used that because it is a nice sandy free draining compost um, it's going to feed the asparagus plants it's a good quality compost um, around the rest of my plot I have been using the cheaper sort of value compost but I thought because this bed is hopefully going to last me a long time I want to make sure that I give it the best start possible so I have spent the money and gone with the John Inns um, for the top I may go with a general multi-purpose or I may go with some more John Inns possibly just a general multi-purpose because it has got say four bags of John Inns on it now um, and I do just need to bring the level up just, just a little bit but that is the asparagus bed all we need to do now is water it in and I'm happy with that. Hopefully you found that video, this video helpful. Um, it's always enjoyable doing the videos and showing what I get up to on the plot. And if you guys find them helpful or in informative or entertaining, then that's all the better. So thank you for watching. Always appreciate the likes and the subscribers <laughs> as ever. And you can follow me on Instagram and on my blog through my website as well links to them are in the description. So that is everything for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.